Hi, my name is Officer Garcia, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Did you prepare for your interview today? That's great. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, you can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Do you have your permanent resident card, your passports, and a form of ID with you? If you can show them to me, please. You can put them away now. Now I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six of them correctly to approve this part of the interview. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Who is in charge of the executive branch? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? What is the highest court in the United States? What are two major political parties in the United States? What is one reason colonists came to America? What happened at the Constitutional Convention? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? What is the name of the national anthem? What is the supreme law of the land? Okay, now please read the following sentence. Now please write the following sentence. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Give me one moment before we proceed. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Okay, let's continue. Did anyone help you fill out this application? Okay, what is your full legal name? What other names have you gone by? Will you be changing your name? Can you tell me your name as you would like it to be? Where were you born? What is your date of birth? What is your height and your weight?
Can you confirm your social security number? How did you get your permanent residency? When did you get your permanent residency? Are either of your parents US citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Where do you currently live? How long have you lived at that address? And what is your previous address? Why did you move? Who lives with you at your current address? What do you do for a living? What is the name of the place where you work? Do you enjoy what you do for work? Do you have any children? What are your children's names and their ages? Are they your biological children? What is your marital status? How many times have you been married? When did you get married? What is your spouse's full legal name? Okay. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Have you traveled out of the United States since you submitted this application? What is the last date that you traveled out of the United States? What date did you return? Okay. How many total trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? What is one thing you plan on doing if you become a U.S. citizen? That's great. Now please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? 
Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Why not? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? Can you tell me what communism is? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prisoner jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Can you tell me what a prison or jail is? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? How about back in your country of origin? Okay. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? 
been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling, failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? And what is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, great. At this time, I am going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.